Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing great. So as you can see, we have a Corona again, but it's a special one. I actually went to a beer and soda place to get this one. I was trying to look for something cool. I did see something cool and I couldn't remember if I did it or not because it's the same company, but I can't remember which one I did. I think I have it upstairs. So if I did do that one before, I mean, I have the can upstairs, not the actual thing because I thought the can was really cool. You might give a hint if you watch the other beer videos. You might figure out which one it was. But anyway, it was kind of cool. And then when I came home, I realized I didn't do that when I did the other one. <laughs> anyway, this one was super cool because I like the taste. Well, the name of the taste. I didn't taste it as of yet. And of course, well, we don't have the um, little beer book or beer Bible, if you will. Um, we have to get another one of those. I am looking into that. So definitely, definitely we'll be getting that. But before we get too far into this video, just give that thumbs up over there and go over there. Hit the um, subscribe so you can see when this comes out. I'm always doing stuff. Um, I'm not doing the common ones right now again. <clears throat> Sorry. I took a little bit of the chips before this and guess what? It got stuck in my throat a little bit. So now it's coming back. I'm just taking a little bit of water to clear it up. Okay. Ooh, so hopefully we are good until we get the beer open and we can actually drink the beer. That will help the chips go down even better, I believe. Anyway, so I did not work this weekend. I did not work on a Saturday. You were seeing this on Monday, but I did not work on Saturday for a change. But I was super busy on Friday doing a lot of stuff, so I didn't have a chance to do the videos. But I'm going to try to do it next week. <coughs> man, that chip is getting to me, man. Anyway. Uh, well, I drink the water over here. Next week, I should be off as well, so I will try to do it on a Friday instead. I have everything written down on my card over here. So when we go over, it is a Corona. <clears throat> as you can see, it's mango and citrus tropical flavor cocktail. It is a cocktail. It's 8%. Um, alcohol per volume, mangrove citrus, and what do we, I think this is Mexico. This is the same people that make the Maldus, I believe. It's 12 ounces, oh, 24 ounces, sorry. 8% per 12 ounce. Um, I didn't have that down enough, sorry. So as you can see, right there, where is it? It is in Mexico, it's important by Corona, oh, Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois, so you can contact them if you have any questions. Right there is the phone number. It's a flavored malt liquor. So that is the style. And of course, our Surgeon General thing right there. Let me, uh, you know what? Where is the Victorian Ox? You can check out the EDC videos too. So I'm just trying to get the little, uh, my fingernails are kind of short, so. Boom. Kind of get that tab going a little bit there. Put that Victorian X out of the way. Oh, there we go. We cracked it. Let's see if we got a little mango. Mm. It actually, well, more citrusy than mango per se, but it's good. It smells good. I'm trying to do this around the camera, so... Trying to get that good pour. Oh, look at that orange color, man. Woo! I like it. That's got a really good color to it. And I did not get much fizz there. I do have a napkin here. What the heck fell behind me? Oh. I did have something fall behind me a little bit there. Hmm. I'm taking a taste out of the can first. Looks like we have fresh orange juice for for breakfast, right? But it's a little spite. Shh. Whoa, that is freaking really good. I like that. I really like that. So. The brewer is Moldu. Yeah, I knew it was Moldu. Mm. 
Modelo, I mean. Sorry, Modu. Modelo. I'm so sorry about that. I completely screwed that up. Anyway. That's enough of that, right? Orange it says Mexico. Beer type. Oh, it's a malt liquor. Where did it say that? I see there. I'm going to put 24 ounces here, too. I haven't been doing that, but it wasn't on the beer thing, either. So, I messed up the thing a little bit. It's a malt. Where did it say that? Malt beverage. Alcohol percent is 8%. Color freaking really orange. Oh, I guess it could be an orange mango. Uh, color notes. It's a flavored tropical cocktail. So I'm going to put under there flavored tropical cocktail. Well, I shouldn't put it. I could put that in the note. Flavored. Flavorful. Sorry. Tropical cocktail. Really good. This would be so good during the summer. Relaxing. Having some barbecue with your friends and stuff. Oh, and for the chips. I didn't even mention the chips today. We got some Liddell corn chips there with a little hint of lime, which adds very nice to the beer. Or flavored drink and we got some of those honey mustard pretzels over there from Snyder's they are freaking good man I can't get enough of them the buffalo one is really good too if you're into buffalo wing sauce check out those two they're really good it's like little pieces of pretzel as you can see they're kind of broken up anyway this is really good I'm telling you during the summer hanging out at the pool hanging out with some friends outside just chilling or having a barbecue, this is great. Let me just take a chip over here. I had to move away from the camera. Before we do the stars and reveal our review review of it, let me take a little swig from the actual glass. It does give a little bit different taste when you taste it from the glass. Oh yeah. That is really cool. You can't even taste the alcohol in it. For people that don't like, you know, don't want an alcohol beer or heavy alcoholic beer, that is definitely, definitely the beer for you. Or cocktail, whatever you want to call it. Let me see over here. I always forget how many stars there is in here on the book. I'm just going by the book we used to have. So I'm doing the stars. I'm not doing an amazing job of the stars. <clears throat> so we're just getting a little bit of the regular stars going. I really like that, as you guys can tell, because I keep sipping on it. So... That is freaking awesome. That is a really cool drink. You could serve that up in some gla like frosted glasses with a little bit of um, orange slice on it. That would make a really great cocktail at a party or something. No one would know the difference if we mixed it or not. I'm telling you. It is that good. Oh, I just built something. Oh, boy. Pull my thing to the side. Well, at least it doesn't have like a strong beer smell to it or alcohol smell to it as I hit the camera stand right there I do have to put a little something there a wipe or something to get it sticky I don't want to get it sticky so I will definitely do that on the little pad I have right there it's my mouse pad if you were wondering anyway but that is freaking good I really like it so as I said as we always do you know gotta give it the stars see what we give and from the way I'm talking, you're pretty much going to guess what it is. It's five stars. 
I really, really like that. It's really good. It has amazing flavor to it. it. Looks like freaking orange juice. So, definitely something, people. You gotta check that out. The Corona Mango Citrus Tropical Cocktail. Check it out, people. Really, really good. Take my word for it, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate everybody making this channel good and making this channel great and sharing it. So share.